I think this is the last lesson for page 1099, pages 33 to 34. 33 kind of explains and gives a couple examples. 34, we just have a few problems. I'm putting two of them up here. I'm not going to completely do them for you, but I, I want to get you started. I can get the ball rolling, and then you can finish them. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. Well, actually, this one I'll probably finish because the whole goal is to see what happens when we get to a remainder. So let's do 5y to the third divided by 5y. And do you get 5? Nope. Do we get x? Nope. We get y squared. 5y <laughs> times y squared, 5y to the third. And then we multiply the y squared times negative 2, get negative 2y squared. Change these to their opposites. When you add, whoa, they both cancel out. Yay! Now we're going to bring down 5y and the negative 9. 5y times 1, okay? So we'll do plus 1. That gives me 5y. 1 times negative 2. Now watch what happens here. <clears throat> when I multiply the 1 times negative 2, get negative 2. Change these to their opposites. When I add, this cancels, but this does not cancel. Okay, so we end up with a remainder of negative 7. So what we do is we take the negative 7 and we put it over the divisor. Okay, we don't say R7, negative 7, like remainder, but we write plus negative 7 over the divisor, 5y minus 2. Okay? So we kind of did that one with you, but I wanted you to see what we do when we get to the end and have a remainder. This one looks complicated because it's really long, but let's take it slowly. I'll get you into a couple of the steps. We'll let you finish it, and then you should have a remainder at the end, okay? And so you'll write that over the divisor when you're done. Let's look at just the first term, 6b to the fourth divided by 3b squared, and that would be... 2, 6 divided by 3 is 2, b to the 4th divided by b squared, you subtract the exponents, so 3b squared. Notice I'm lining it up over the b squared term because that reminds me that I probably only have three terms in my answer. Multiply back again, 6, excuse me, I wrote 3 and it should be 2. <clears throat> 2 times 3 is 6 b to the fourth. Now, this times the middle term, negative 8, b to the third, and then this times this would be plus 6, b squared. Change them to their opposites and add. That cancels. Here I get 12, b to the third, minus 10, b squared. Okay? And then we'll bring down the next term, which is 6b. And I'm going to let you take it from there. So the 12b to the third divided by 3b squared. 12 divided by 3 is... Okay. Subtract the exponents. Okay. So that's what you write up here. And they're both positive. So this will be plus that term that you came up with. Take that times all three of these. Change them to their opposites. Add. All right. And then you'll do that one more time here. And like I said, you should end up with one term left over. And you'll write that as the remainder over this entire denominator. Okay, hopefully that helped. And uh, score frequently. Make sure you're understanding each step. And uh, seeing if you get it wrong, see exactly at the score key what you did wrong. And then uh, hopefully you do well in the upcoming review and checkup, self-test, pace test, and moving on, okay? You're a th fourth of the way through algebra at this point. Yay!